Hey guys, it's Tries here, back with Automation, the car company tycoon game in the most powerful engine series. We're going to be building the most powerful Boxer 6 engine in version 4.2.11. This is the final engine that I'm covering for this part of the series. Compared to my Boxer 4 build, it's more reliable and about twice as powerful compared to that engine. So now, let's get started with this here wannabe Porsche engine of this Boxer 6. So first things first, on the top of portion of your screen, you set the year to the year of 2020 to get the most potential, performance, and everything out of the engine. And after you choose your Boxer 6 configuration, you may choose any block material that you may choose from. I'm going to choose magnesium for the sake of weight and everything. And for the family capacity, you square off the bore and stroke, max this out to 120 millimeters each to get the engine size to 8,143 cubic centimeters, around 8.1 liters, with a dual overhead cam 4 valve made out of whatever head material that you may choose from, doing aluminum silicone, again, for weight. And with this quality slider, as you see right here, you max this bad boy out to a plus 15 for everything. Whether it's for the engine block in general, the top end, bottom end, turbocharger, everything. Just to get the most performance as possible. For the balance shaft, you are required to have a harmonic damper to avoid the crankshaft from exploding. And speaking of that crankshaft, we're going to be using billet steel with the crankshaft with car rods at lightweight titanium and the pistons made out of regular forged. For the compression, like any of my other builds of this series, we're going to be using a 15.0 to 1 ratio in an extreme level. The cam profile is set to a racing setting of a 91 right here. The springs and lifters set to a fairly stiff setting of a 73. And lastly, you must have VVT for all the cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a twin turbo setup of a smart boost system with the intercooler maxed out to 12,100 horsepower, maxes out. And the aspiration details everything, so we're going to be using a variable geometry setup of ball bearings with the compressor size set maxes out to 120 millimeters. The turbine also maxes out to 108.6 millimeters. The trim setting set maxes out to 100. And lastly, for the max boost, you set this to a 43.5. PSI. For the fuel system, it's just like my Boxer 4 build, so we're using a direct injection throttle per cylinder intake setup running on a performance high intake running on the recently implemented DevMev fuel, with the fuel mixer set to a 10.5 right on the bark. <laughs> And the ignition timing set this maxes out to 100 in the advanced setting. And lastly, the RPM would set to 8600 RPM. And lastly, for the exhaust and everything, so we're using some turbocharged racing headers with a dual exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 140 millimeters, which that equals to 5.5 inches. And of course, no cats, no muffers, and bring that quality up, and we do get the final horsepower rating of 4,281.2 horsepower at 8,600 RPM, the torque at 2,793.5 pounds feet of torque at 6,800 RPM. And with the stress graph on here, we got no knocking or no valve flow, but we do get a good amount of torque stress here for the con rods and pistons, and same thing for the RPM stress for also the pistons and con rods, but unlike the Boxer 4, where this was pretty much at the brim of breaking apart. And speaking of the Boxer 4, this new update, I'm gonna go over the Boxer 4 with version 4.2.11's tune right now. So here I am with the Boxer 4 engine, so I believe everything is the same for the top end or the bottom end and for the top end. Previously, I set the cam profile to a 63, now it's a 65, just two clicks up. The springs and lifters was previously a 47, and now it's a 9 clicks up to a 56. And I believe this is all the same for the turbocharger, the fuel system, and the exhaust. So yeah, the only changes I made was just the top end, and that was it. Which gets our final power rating at 2,849.5 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, and the torque at 1,870.6 pounds feet of torque at 8,000 RPM. Alright, with this portion of the video, I'm going to give you here what this engine sounds like. While playing around with the manual testing mode, I'm going to do the powered torque graph, just rev this up for a little bit. And after doing so, I'll show the engine as is while doing some fake gear shifts for a little while, and then we'll be ending off the video right then and there. So right now, let me go back to the graph visibility and give you here this engine right now.
So this engine is twice as more powerful than the Boxer 4, and twice the amount of engine sway and torque twist or whatever compared to the Boxer 4. <laughs> so that'll do it with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game with this powerful Boxer 6 engine. Well, that'll do it with this part of the series. For the future, I'm planning on moving on to the most powerful engines with no stress whatsoever, meaning that I create an engine with no pistons, comrades, or crankshaft stress for torque or RPM. I'll start that off within the next few weeks or so. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to BMG Drive videos too. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.